I'm a very emotional person, so yes, I think I, I screamed. <laughs> and he was like, okay, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Um, and uh, I broke the news to him, and he was, he was very excited about it. Um, and then afterwards, he freaked out because then he realized that he was going to be a dad. Um, and then I think the second time um, when we were trying again, when we got the news of the, the, the second pregnancy, um, it was also like a sign of relief. It was like, okay, great, we got it. Um, just because the second time we'd been trying for many years, I think seven years, six to seven years. So it was quite a break, but it was when we eventually got the results we wanted. It was, it was a very happy moment. Um, how I told my partner is that I, I mean, I was at work and he was at work. So I just sent him a text. <laughs> I actually still have that text. He screen grabbed it and sent it to me the other day. So he, we, while we were in the car, um, we tested right at the mall at like after like Pai is toilet. And then in the car, that thing reflected that I'm pregnant. So I didn't need to break the news. I just showed him the thing. <laughs> And yeah, man, it was a lot because he was like literally shocked and disappointed. You could see the disappointment in his face, like he was not having it. So yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot. Emotionally, it was a lot. Okay. <laughs> we were still, we had just separated from high school. He was in Tata, I guess, at the time. And I was in Cape Town. So I gave him a call to tell him the news. Um, I think we all know that a high school kind of relationship, when you get to go your separate ways, then it's no longer the same. Then he was acceptive of it. Then afterwards, we just took the news as they are. Strangely, somehow, I think my partner already knew because he was the one who was pointing out that I was actually having very strange symptoms and I was eating very strange things at the time. I was more attracted to salty food. And so when I broke the news to him after my doctor's visit, he was not surprised at all. So I sat him down and I broke the news to him. Well, it was pretty simple. I texted him on Facebook back then. And I was like, Facebook, I was like, hey, I have good news and bad news. And then he was like, okay, tell me first the bad news. Like, well, you're going to be a father. And then, and then he was like, okay, you're playing. I'm like, I'm dead serious. I found out I'm pregnant and and that's just how it is. And he was excited, but in between, I don't know if that means, he was, he was like, oh, okay, this is weird. Okay, how far are you? And I was like, I'm eight months pregnant, baby. And, and that's just how, and actually he was a, an amazing person. He was, he was like, excited more than me actually. So, yeah. So I get out of the doctor's room and I'm there and my boyfriend's outside. He's waiting for me, right? So um, I sit down uh, and I'm like, babe, there's a head in there. He's like, what? Like, you're, <laughs> he's shocked. I'm like, I'm like, I'm having a baby, right? So I'm like, he looks at me and I'm like, you know what? If you want to disappear, it's fine. My family won't even find you. Like, they, they won't even know who you are. It's fine. I'm having this baby, right? I'm having this baby. He looks at me and he's like, why are you being so mean? Like, I also want to be a part of my child's life. It's not only your child, it's our child. So then I was like, okay, I, I just wanted you to be clear, to be sure that you don't have to be part of this journey, but I'm glad that you actually want to be a part of it. So yeah, and there he was very supportive throughout, so yeah. 